All right, so in this uh, Anche part, we're going to make a fire flower. And if you're not sure what that is, it's from Super Mario, which is a game from way back when. And when Mario would go up and hit, jump up and hit his head on the question box, a flower would pop out. And if he grabbed that flower, he could throw fireballs at different things. So we're going to be making this today. But instead of 2D like Nintendo did, we're going to make it in three dimensions. Okay, and on shape, we're going to start a sketch. We're going to start with the question box. So we're going to click on the top plane. We're going to make a center point rectangle. It's actually going to be a square. It's going to be a pretty big square. It's going to be 24 inches by 24 inches. So that's real big. All right, so there's our 24 inch square. Now we're going to make this a 24 inch cube. We're going to extrude this cube upward 24 inches just like that and now we have our first part here we're going to come down here and we're going to name this the question cube all right now if we look at our cube we got to make what i want to try to do is i want to try to put the this question mark in there and they also have these little kind of uh squares or circles. I think we're going to make them circles in the corners. So let's make those uh, circles first. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to sketch on this front plane here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a small circle just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to make that circle an inch and a half, 1.5 inches. And then we're going to dimension it from the side. We're going to make it one inch from the side and a one inch from the top. Just like that. All right, now I want to mirror this uh, this circle on each in each corner. In order to do that, I'm a, you could use planes if you want to, but I'm kind of lazy. I'm going to use the, something called construction lines. So what you want to do is you want to highlight this uh, button right here, this tool, and then select the line. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to be making a line. It's just a reference line that splits the cube in half. And then we'll do it one more time. We're going to split the cube in half again. Look for this little box that pops up. That means that you've hit the midpoint. And now what I have here is I have two reference lines that I can mirror over and they won't mess with any extrusions or anything. So now I can use my mirror tool. I'm going to grab a mirror line first and then I'm going to select the circle and that's good. And I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to, my mirror line down here will be down here select both circles and then we're good to go. We're good with the uh, the little circles that are in the corners and we're going to extrude them just a very slight amount. We're going to come here and extrude them Do it actually a, a subtract or a remove. We're only going to go in 0 0.2 inches, just a very slight amount and we'll select each corner and they'll all be in about, oops, that didn't work. Let's try that one more time. So we'll go ahead and we'll extrude. Maybe I got to select them first. We want to remove 0 0.2 inches, just like that. Into that gold color that we usually see on the game, we're going to select this color right there in our appearance tab. And now we're ready to put the question mark on. All right, to do this, we'll make this a uh, question mark. We're going to sketch on the front of our box and we are going to use the text tool. So we're going to put the text tool like this. Inside the text tool, we'll just put a question mark. And Noto Serif seems to be the best font and make it bold. All right, so we'll go ahead and click the check the checkbox and there is our question mark. Let's dimension this so that we know that it's centered. So we're going to make the total height of our question mark 18 inches. And then we're going to make the uh, this distance right here, we'll make that three inches and that'll be centered uh, long ways. Let's go ahead and center the question mark like this. See how I'm what I'm doing here is I'm going from the middle part of the question mark to the origin and I want that to be zero. Right now it's half an inch, a little bit more than half an inch off. So we'll click this and then we'll say zero and now we're completely centered and we can finish our sketch. What we're going to do now is we're going to go isometric here and we're going to extrude. We'll extrude the, let's see, the sketch we just drew, this question mark, we're going to extrude outward. We want to say new, 
is this question mark will be a different color. So we're gonna come out and we're gonna come out one inch is perfectly fine. We'll click the check box and you can see it's these two different colors and that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're going to highlight both of them. Hold the shift button down when you do this. Hold part two, part three, and those ones are gonna be the question mark parts and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna change the color to the brown color that you see over here. So here we are, here's part two, which is the top of the question mark. See, that's a separate part within our part studio. That's totally fine. So we'll select that one and we'll hit the checkbox. Then we'll go to part three. We'll also select the brown. And then we are done with the, uh, with the question box. What we should probably do is rename this. Uh, this is the top of the question mark. And over here, this is the bottom of the question mark. So just go ahead and rename both of those. And now we're ready to make the flower. Now let's start the flower. So with a flower, we need to start the stem. So let's sketch on the top of our question box. And we're gonna do a circular stem. And we're gonna make this stem five inches wide. There we go, there's our five inch diameter. Now. We'll go out ISO and we will extrude the stem upward. We're gonna say new up here. We wanna make it kind of a new part of our part studio. All right, so there's our new part. We're gonna go up 10 inches and we'll hit the checkbox. And let's change this down here. Let's rename that to stem. And we want that stem to be green. So we'll come over here and we'll select a nice green. So you can see we have stem here in our appearance panel and there's a green that we'll select for our stem. All right, let's do the, uh, let's do the flower next and then we'll finish off with the leaf. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a sketch and we're gonna start it actually on the front plane. So you might have to pick it here because you can see the front plane is kind of tiny down here. So we're, we're gonna pick it in the browser up here. I mean, the front plane is, is enormous, it's like, infinitely big. So see how it kind of bumps up our sketch a little bit. We're going to be actually sketching. I don't know if you can see this, but we want to sketch kind of like through the middle of the stem. That's why we've chosen the front plane. So just trust me here. We'll start on the front plane. The other thing we need to do is we want to make kind of the flower centered on, uh, on this circle here. So we're going to click the use button and we're going to highlight the top of the stem to help use its geometry. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make an arc, a three-point arc, and we're gonna start that three-point arc right in the middle of the stem, and we're gonna come out this way, okay? So let me actually change my view. So we're gonna come out like over here. And don't even worry, make it right about there-ish, okay? And click it just kind of generally so it looks like that. We want this radius to be 25, okay? That's one thing that we want. Actually, just kidding. We want this radius to be uh, 40. So we're going to click on the dimension and we want this radius to be 40. We also want another dimension from here to here. We want that dimension to only be 25. All right. So there's our, uh, our arc. We wanted a radius of 40 and it, we wanted to stretch 25 from the midpoint to the end of the arc line. And what we want to do is we want to mirror it upward and then mirror it over. So here's what, how we're going to do that. Just make a line, a vertical line, doesn't even matter how long it is. I'm sorry, a horizontal line. Doesn't matter how long it is, we're just gonna use it to mirror. So we'll take our mirror tool, we'll select this line and we'll select our arc. And then we've mirrored it above. So that's good. We can then trim out this line, we don't really need it anymore. And then we wanna mirror one more time. We're gonna mirror, and I think this time what we need to do is find a vertical line, like this is a plane that we could use as a vertical line, as our mirror line. Right, there's our mirror line. And what we wanna select is these two right here to finish off our flower outline, okay? So there's our flower outline. Next thing we're gonna do is make it 3D. All right, so let's take this outline. We can see that it's actually like splitting the stem, which is perfect. And we're going to extrude outward and we're gonna extrude 10 inches. But we don't want it to stick out this way. We want it to be centered on the stem. So instead of blind, we're gonna do symmetrical. And that way, now it's symmetric over our stem. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and click our checkbox. And actually, you know what? I forgot something. You know what we want to do? We want to make this a new part again, because this is going to be the flower. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we have new selected before we hit the green checkbox, just like that. And then we can rename this. Oops, we can rename this as flower. Rename as flower. All right, let's go ahead and let's round the edges of this flower. We're gonna do a fillet all the way around. So select all of these faces all the way around, the whole part, just like this. And we're gonna do a fillet and that fill is gonna be two inches. It's gonna really round this part off, just like that. All right. All right, let's make this flower white. To do that, we'll go to the appearance panel. We'll double click on flower. All you have to do to make white is to make the R G and B all 255 and that will make our flower completely white. All right, so let's make some detail on this flower. Let's select the front face of the flower and we're going to do an offset. That's this tool right here. We're gonna select, make sure the whole thing is selected here and you can see how we're gonna offset inward a little bit, just like that. Go ahead and hit enter. And when it asks for your dimension, do two inches. So we'll go ahead and hit the green checkbox once we've done that. We'll come back out here and we're gonna do an extrusion inward a little bit. We're gonna remove a little bit of material. One inch is actually perfect. We can select okay. And we're gonna do one more extrusion. And this will be the very inside of the flower. All right, we're gonna do another offset of an inch, just like this. So we'll come in this way, we'll hit enter and we'll say one inch and we'll finish the sketch. And this one's gonna come out and we're gonna make it a different color. So what we're doing here is we're gonna come out and we're gonna come out to the uh, one inch is just fine. We're gonna make it new, a new part. We're gonna hit okay. Let's name this new part um, inside of flower, okay? And now we have to kind of put some colors on this to match the colors that are on the game. Okay, so if we look closely at the flower, it's white, then orange, then red. So let's, we already have the white outside. Let's do the red inside. So we'll go back to the flower and the inside of the flower is labeled already. So we can double click on this and change it to red. The one thing we don't have is the orange uh, kind of like inner part right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out this way and we're gonna select, we'll select right here and right click. Let's see, we'll select it and then right click. And what we can do is we can say all the way down here at the bottom, we can say add appearance to face. That's what we wanna pick. And we're gonna select the orange color just like that. And now we have a good looking flower. If we can kind of come out this way. Well, all we have to do is add some leaves which aren't too hard. All right, so let's, uh, for the leaves, let's go ahead and start a sketch here and we're going to start it on the front plane again. That's the plane that splits us in half, which is perfect. Go to the front and we'll look and we'll say, all right, so what we want to do is we want to make a, an arc and we're going to, we're going to look like this. We're going to try to find, actually, let's use the bottom of the stem as a reference point here that works really well so i'd use the use and then i grabbed the stem base now i can take my arc tool and i know where the middle of that base is and that's what i wanted to pick right there so i'll come this way out to that front view what we want to do is just kind of make a leaf kind of uh it doesn't matter if it's like one way or the other just kind of make a, an arc like that and we're going to change that dimension and add one more dimension to this so the arc radius is gonna be 12. And then we have one other dimension that we wanna do from here to here is also going to be 12. So that's what we wanna select. Once we've done that, the other, the other thing I wanna do is to make a line from here to here, just like that. So that now we have something to revolve. Okay, so we're gonna come out here. We're gonna select the revolve tool. We're gonna to revolve this uh, sketch and the axis is going to be right there and that is going to be a new solid make sure we have new selected 
and that is going to be our leaf. So we're going to come down here and we're going to select rename. We're going to call it leaf. All right, so there's our leaf. Let's change it to a green color again. So we'll come over to our appearance panel. We'll double click on our leaf and we'll select green. And this is a decent green that we could use. And the very last thing that we need to do is to mirror this leaf and we're gonna mirror it to the other side. So we'll select it and then we need to select a plane to mirror it along or a line. Let's see here, I need a plane, give me a plane. I believe we have a plane, one of these planes will, should work. The right plane will work just like that. And there it is, so I've, I've mirrored the leaf over the right plane. We'll hit the checkbox and we're all done with our fire flower. There it is.